In this video, we will discuss our group's design decisions and as well as the process in creating a book cover for Tim Winton's blue bag. For the book cover and poster, we chose watercolour as our medium as it has a light touch and intimate closer look that can correlate to blue bag story. It illustrates an innocent and intimate effect from the author's words and from us who designed the book cover. According to Gerald Fitzler, watercolour is a master medium. It is the immediacy of the medium and the way the pigment responds on your paper to your personal emotional response to your subject. The intimate art aspect is illustrated from the individual brush strokes that represents the creativity and effort that was put in during the development of the cover. The book and the poster both reflect the emotions and values of the novel. We decided to make the book cover and poster similar to create a cohesive design identity. Both the book and poster protagonist is a groper, being the focal subject. The initial design process consisted of watercolour paper and outlining the groper are the small fish and the bay by using a hand-drawn method with a pencil. Watercolour paint was added to the outline and design for the book cover and poster consisting of cool and warm tones to represent sea life and human life. As mentioned before, the visual focus is the grouper, which is placed over the whole of the book cover. The top left of the back cover illustrates the bay consisting of yellow and white with brown dotted textures. The bay blends with the tail of the grouper to represent the harmonizing connection between the sea life and human life. The grouper is also slightly curved, creating a movement to make the fish more lively. Each element was done on a separate piece of watercolor paper to compile all the layers into one file in Photoshop. Firstly, starting with the groper layer with the blended bay tail, then adding two coloured background layers, blue and green. Smaller fish were added and all relevant text. The final exported image of all the comprised layers was then edited on Procreate to draw the outline of the groper and the additional fish. By outlining the edges in various elements such as the eye, fins and mouth, it completes the image in its entirety. On Photoshop, we chose condensed light font for the blurb and two reviews because this particular font was not heavy and it contrasted to the thick hand-drawn style of the title as well as the author's name. The text and outlines was not black but a dark navy which made the, the book and poster less harsh and created a softer look that also blended in with the blue palette. A washed white paintbrush is used to create a background for the blurb that is not lost in the detail of the back cover, making it more of a focus for the audience to read.